What is up, Bandit family? Welcome back to another exciting episode of the Swap Me Bandit. Today's episode is a little different. Yes, we will be showing you guys some items uh, that we picked out from one of the boxes. We have a couple sweaters, a jersey, and maybe a couple little uh, other items, some vintage books as well. Um, but we're also going to be showing you guys our setup and how we take pictures uh, to get the best quality pictures, a really good a uh, picture makes your item sell faster and it actually brings more attention you get more watchers the more watchers you get um, the more likely your item is to sell either by sending the best offer or just your original price that you have on it uh, so let's jump right into this episode all right so we have a bunch of crud on the floor that we're working on right now uh, but we have this little table we put a white cloth on it we have two rulers we have a meter stick and a ruler we have this very simple camera, it doesn't have to be anything too fancy, it just has to uh, get the point across, you know, you take a picture, you have to be able to see it, that's, that's pretty much it. If you're new to the channel and you like what you see or you want to learn how to make money off of simple purchases and uh, have a great income, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications. Every like, comment, and subscription is greatly appreciated. Let's jump right into these this week's items. All right, so out of all the items pictured here, we're only going to focus on a few. We're going to break this down into two different episodes. Uh, that way we can be more descriptive on the items. Uh, but let's jump right into this first item. Okay, so this first item we have here is actually a uh, Garfield the Cat ornament. It is from the 1990s, early 90s. Uh, it was made by Ensco. Um, it's Trouble on Three Wheels. Again, it's Trouble on Three Wheels. It's made by Ensco. It's a basically it's a vintage item at this point. It's been over 20 years since this item came out. Um, it is in excellent condition. The only thing it is missing, it is the only uh, the ornament uh, string that goes with it. But other than that, there's no broken pieces. There's no scratches. It is in excellent condition. What I did find weird about this item when I first picked it up was that it's not in its original casing. So I'm gonna try and put this in uh, to the casing to show you guys. But it does not fit, so whoever, whichever kid, or whichever parent put this back into the box didn't put the right uh, plastic covering on it to protect it. But it kind of worked out. They put it on the back side of um, the plastic and it works. Alright, moving on to the next item. We have this set of Justice League superheroes. Justice League characters, so um, they are the Unlimited Tech. There's a free comic book in each one. Uh, this was from Cartoon Network and it actually comes with a five pack set of, of cars so for everybody who has little kids they usually uh, boys like to play with cars and stuff like that so we're hoping to get a decent amount of money for this uh, nothing too extravagant maybe like 10 15 bucks for the three uh, for all three we're gonna put this in a set so it's a pretty good set and I mean paid a dollar for it or a dollar fifty actually I think it was a dollar fifty so we're hoping to get decent money again we have the martian we have green lantern we have orion then we have green arrow we have superman and we have the black canary okay so what we have here is an epic powers man of steel uh superman it's got uh, many functions um again this character right here that we have down at the bottom he only played superman for one movie uh, it's super rare usually they play him for more than one movie um, kind of like the same thing that happened with Ben Affleck playing Batman. He's only playing them for one movie. Um, thank goodness, right? Um, so again, it has uh, many functions. It's got a little lever in the back that I actually tried out. Um, how many of you guys can name that character at the bottom? Again, this is Epic Powers. We're hoping to get at least $10 for it. Uh, here are the functions that it has in the back. And it's got a superhero cape that is detachable. So this... A pair of hats that we have here are from the US Open 2009 and 2010 um, so these hats are very unique in that you can only buy them at the US Open when it's being held and where it's being held so in 2009 it was held at Beth Page Black which is a really tough course and then they have a beautiful course uh, called Pebble Beach which is in California super nice um, these hats are really hard to come by you can tell they were never used because they still have this inside. Um, this doesn't have it, but it doesn't have any yellowing around it. So these hats again are very hard to find. Uh, you only you can only get them at the tournament. So we're hoping to get a decent amount of money for these. 
Thank you guys for watching. We're hoping to turn this $11 purchase into an $80 profit. Uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications. Swap me bandit, el bandito out.